Okay, so this is my video. This is my robot. It has machine gun arms, and it's got a grenade launcher on its back, and uh, it can shoot missiles out of its shoulders. So it's pretty cool. This is HD. Yeah, this is 720p. Ooh. And in a second here, I'm going to realize I'm looking for a pilot name unknown. There he is. Uh, or she. Yeah, or do you she, not know this? Right. Is that a spoiler? I don't think that's a spoiler. I think at different points in the game, it has different pilots. Oh, it says she is well known as, okay, right there. So no, it's not a spoiler. Or if it was, we just blew it. So, so this video will let you see uh, what Armor Core evolves into over the course of like 10 years. This is for answer. Yep. For all those who didn't read before they clipped yeah. the video. And that was a massive load time I had to out. <laughs> wow, this game is pretty. Yeah. My robot here can fly indefinitely, no problem. I've got three weapons I can shoot at the same time. Note that you now have five digit AP because they're next, next, you see. Not ACs. Yeah. As I recall, you actually do face original ACs. I don't think there's any ACs in the game. Even though they still call it Armored Core, they, they changed the name of their actual robots to uh, Nexts. Well, no, I thought, because essentially they took the place of MTs in Armored Core, the original. No, there's, there's still MTs. Okay, I thought they ran into, like, really weak ACs at some point. Yeah, yeah they die very fast, because they're old. Yeah, there are there are some guys that look like ACs, but I, I never hear the name AC thrown around. Oh, I thought they did. I don't remember. I could be wrong. So... The way the mechanic changes here, instead of having it like your, your targeting square, your, the entire screen is your targeting square, so all you have to really do is keep the guy on screen, and that's hard enough to do. And I'm almost flying off the map right there. Vertically, we might add. Yeah. He looks, she looks to be kicking your ass right now. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing too well in this fight. Mainly, all I have to do is keep him on screen and in range and hold down the trigger. And maybe land a grenade once in a while. I see for your weapons WA. I'm assuming those are your weapon arms. Yeah, weapon arms, and I've got left back and shoulders. I've also got assault armor on this uh, next here, but I'm not going to seem to use it. I was going to say, because after a while in Armored Core, they kind of ran out of places to add potential places for parts. <laughs> so they started tacking on weird things. Right, so in this game you've got the shoulders, uh, right back, left back, right arm, left arm, and then two hangers. So I think that's seven weapons total you can hang on to. And you can change your loadout in the middle of a mission? You can eject weapons, yeah. And then you can draw small weapons out of your hangers. You're beeping. And watch, it, watch this quick turn right here. Quick turn. Nice. It's a pro move. Still get my ass kicked though. Yes. You're a lot more maneuverable in this game than you are in Armored Core. Yeah. Which, of course, means the game expects you to be more maneuverable. Well, yes. And... You yeah. just ejected your shoulder, uh, and you're dead. Yeah. But as I was just saying earlier, I think that uh, grenade launcher is pretty much the same grenade launcher that they had in the original game. At least in look. Yeah, they carry over a lot of parts between games. I'm gonna pick a different map here. I do remember that one of the strategies I had for beating arena things was hope they went out of the area. <laughs> I've never seen him do that, actually. I have. There's overboost. Yep, over. Ever since Armored Core 2, you could overboost. Oh, it's, it's not overboost, it's overed boost. Oh, yeah. O V E R E D. Over. It was overboost in AC2, and that's the game I played. I, apparently, the translations got worse as the series went on, which is funny. But I noticed it said edge of area, edge of area. Some foolish person filled that highway overpass with explosives. Oh well. Don't you know? Everything in Armored Core is made of explosion. Mm -hmm. Explodium, we talked about that. Park benches are made of explodium. No, they're not. They're indestructible. Oh, right. Those are the only things that are not. I see you are now kicking her ass. Fight's over. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. That was a, a 45 second fight. Well, yep. This game goes fast. So there you go. That's Armored Core 4 answer. 